you don't want to give the ball back to the Hilltoppers. Chattanooga five for 13 on third down and Arnold gets leveled. A flag is thrown as Arnold just got crushed. It's Eli Brown again. He had a huge hit in the third quarter. It's a holding penalty against Chattanooga and this penalty will be declined. All right, just underway in the second quarter. Play fake, down to the flat west this time. Wrapped up. Richard Daines once more. Great job of tackling. I mean, not scared of contact, sticking their nose right in there to make a great form tackle. He thought, he thought he texted his receiver just to catch up. The news was delivered as he is blindsided. The ball pops into the hands, and Donovan Jeter has a fumble return for a touchdown. And then the big fella Jeter says, oh my gosh, this doesn't happen. How do I get this? That's a big man touchdown. You sit there, you envision that, right? Yeah. Day after day, thinking it's never going to happen. <laughs> right. It was just gift wrapped to him. Down goes Daniels. Right off the edge on an inside move. And these little twists and stunts. Second down and five for Purdy. He feels it, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. his man, Kohler. But well, watch what he does. He puts himself in that point where he's got a nice, soft launch point. He knows the pressure's behind him. Darnell Wright tries to do it, but can't finish. About three batted passes against Georgia last week. So take him with a form tackle. Peyton going to the air again on second down. There's Marable coming out of the backfield. Gets you positive yards. It gets it to your skill athlete, Maribel, in space to make a play. It gets you into field goal range as well if you don't gain any more yardage. Pressure coming and dropped right away from the blind side. Joey Porter Jr. Yeah, you'll see him come from the bottom. They end up bringing pressure from the right here on both, uh, both the second level with Luketa and Joey Porter Jr. As you said, a great balance of Tariq Castro fields their talented former boundary corner. Flames spread them out now, five wide. Malik, look out, big hit! Ball comes free, it's on the deck, and Southern Miss covers it up. Oh, my! Yeah, you look right here, they run a little twist to the outside. He comes unblocked. On long third downs. Pressure, and on the screen, Isaiah Jacobs gets blown up by Blake Gallagher. You get me one shame on me, you're not going to get me twice. Look, he recognizes this and then triggers when he sees the ball thrown. There, Cameron Sample gets to him for a huge loss in the play. Uh, Drayton making a play with his feet. Here's a handoff. What a lick to Ford. He holds on to the football. He got nailed by the linebacker, Eli Brown, the senior from right here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. This really feels like a turning point potentially for both these teams' seasons. Into the backfield, Travion Red. He sees the most coming blacks here, and he just gets up the field. He got actually blocked from behind by Robinson here. He got pushed into the play. Johnny Ford put it on the ground earlier. He's the tailback, and foul is blasted. Oh, goodness, Robert Rebels the third. Well, you talk about entering with some speed, quickness, and power. With Peterson and Hammond on the, on the defensive tackle and end. Williams, quick shot there, and Valaday is hit hard and dropped. Well, these are two of the guys we just mentioned, Don Peterson and Sam Hammond. These are the guys with the defensive coordinator and then head coach talked to us yesterday in meetings. And now Price, top five in the country in rushing yards per carry. Here's Nate Jefferson lit up on the near side. Colby Fuque. Two weeks ago against Florida State, had an interception at the beginning of the game. It's nice to see him getting active again, knocking the football out on that hit. Hubbard back in the game. Ooh, this time, time, this time Spencer... I think probably made a poor read. He just laid it right on him and tapped him yeah. right on the forehead. I mean, you're not trying to put that helmet on his hat, but that's the way they used to coach it in the old days. They're being in a lot of third and long. Screen look. Trayvon Bradley, he's the favorite target. Early flag out as he made Brennan miss. Hard hit from Mitch West. Ball, ball knocked free after he was down. Yeah, but the question is, was it a fumble? Yeah, that ball is definitely out. 
That was not down. He wasn't even thinking about it being on the ground. Quad Brown flips it out to Coates. Boy, heat-seeking missile. Jaden McDonald, the weak side linebacker who transferred in here from Iowa. He's had a pretty good day. Wake Forest has generated production from the slot receivers over the past several seasons. Trying to hurdle the defender, Kenneth Walker. Designed to be a sweet sweep. He may, totally misses. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little blitz coming from Chattanooga. Quarterback keeper Pigram is absolutely nailed by Jay Person, the sophomore from Cleveland, Tennessee. Like I said, there's pressure coming coming to the boundary, so Pigram really couldn't give that ball. It's a weapon again. He really has developed in college, really just a pocket guy in high school. Here's Brown. The pocket collapses behind a ball comes up. This is going to be another defensive score. And, and he is just like a buzzsaw on that defensive line. Just keeps bringing it, fighting around, comes around the corner, dip, and then pop. But you see Clay, quad Brown just hanging there too long. A quarterback has got to have that sixth sense where he feels that pocket closing in on him, throw the ball away, throw it to the check down. He's hung in there a split second too long. Troy made him pay. To try to get a third down conversion. Wilson, pressure as the pocket breaks down. He's on the run. And he's going to be hit out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Because Terry Wilson a couple of years ago, even the beginning of last, and that's a clean shot. That to me, and Nick Bolton, he's still in the field of play. Clean shot. Who knows if it's a little too late now, but this is a good drive. Pressure coming, pressure coming. He's going to be dropped and hard. Transferring from Buffalo this year, and I think the first person there was Maximilian Roberts. Oh. Number four, another transfer out of Maine. <laughs> Injury slowed him down though the second half of last year. Oh, and he is stamped. Bringing down Buckmeyer in the backfield. Big time hit. Which on right there. Just splits the lineman. Actually, it was a lineman and, and Bates. Get a tight tight end there. You can't leave that kind of space. Important third down. I know it's the start of the second quarter, but you feel like an important third down coming for Southern Miss. Yeah, Southern Miss is gonna have to convert a lot of third downs. Hit, ball jarred loose. Jimmy Fox, who came in. Peyton immediately looks over to Mr. Third Down himself. He take, takes his slant route. He knows the safety's coming. Holds on to the ball, takes the hit from Anthony Wilson. And that's what good possession receivers do. Here he is again. Off the left side, and he gets popped by the linebacker back at the 35. We're going to work it left. One back power. Um, really good play, good blocking on the opposite li offensive line. He spent the whole practice catching passes. Really dedicated football. Here's the collision at the end of that last play. Hello, Trey. Hey. Travis Levy now flanking Jakovic. He'll get the carry. He gets met. Curry coming up in that middle linebacker spot. Buries him for a loss. Been through it all through the coaching change. And watch him scrape over top. I mean, that's, that's really solid linebacker play. You see a pull. You follow the pull and just find the first. Start of a new drive for Northwestern. They've scored a touchdown on each of their first two drives. On the screen, Isaiah Bowser gets blown up by Ayinde Ely. 